Welcome to our weekly show, People Arguing About Stuff. This week, our theme is, does science even exist? What you will learn about the scientific method will shock you. We brought together a diverse assembly of scientists to give us an overview on their work in physics, geology, biology, and so many more things. First, let's take a look at the state of modern physics. For the first part of the show, we have Mr. Gamov and Mr. Hoyle joining us, since Neil deGrasse Tyson was not available. Mr. Gamov, I understand that you have something to show us tonight. Uh, yes, in fact, I brought a poem to show why Hoyle's theory of steady state universe sucks. Bloody nonsense! It is a perfectly valid theory that accounts for the observed facts. Except it doesn't. You say matter is continuously being created. Well, your theory can't even explain the presence of anything past helium. You need my stellar fusion to account for that. Wait, wait, wait. For the lay viewer, can you please explain what the steady state universe is? Well, the universe is infinitely expanding, right? And we're pretty sure that it has no beginning and no end. So we assume that the density stays constant, and new stars and galaxies are constantly being created. You want to just create stars out of nothing? Well, it's not like I'm creating a whole universe from scratch, George. I can explain like 99% of the whole universe. You can't. Well, your theory lacks um, gentlemanly sophistication. Your theory just sucks. Besides, the Pope agrees with me. He does, actually. Who brought a priest into a science show? I'm on my coffee break. From what? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm getting breaking news here. Scientists have recorded an acceleration in the expansion of the universe, and the mechanism proposed is, um, is a dark energy, a sort of negative pressure. Um, onto a commercial. <laughs> We are back from our commercial break with even more guests. Mr. Wagner, I do believe that you are here today with us to present your new theory on continents, is that correct? Uh, yes, this is correct. I have written the theory, uh, which I have called it Continental Drift, and she says, in essence, that the continents, like we imagine them, they have not always been in these spaces. Instead, it is that they move around over the mountains, they move here and there, uh, and we can know this because, for example, Africa and South America, they fit together perfectly. Look, listen, continents are big. They don't just float around like... Well, actually, we found that if you add up the movements of all the continents, kinematically, everything fits. That's stupid. How the hell are whole continents supposed to move around? What moves the plates are rich push and slap pull processes. The basaltic ocean floor subducts under the mostly granite continental plates because of density differences, while the rich push happens because of gravity. The you have to admit the evidence is very compelling. Thank you, uh, Mr. Wagner, for such a paradigm-shifting theory. Next, we are interrupting you to bring you the latest weather. Rex, how's it looking? Well, it looks like we're in for some hot weather tomorrow. Uh, I conferred with NASA and we have... A confirmation that it will be raining rocks because Jupiter and Saturn have switched their orbits again. An asteroid is projected to extinguish all life on Earth. Uh, okay. okay. Well, before that happens, we have Mr. Charlie Darwin here with us today to shed some more light on what exactly does happen when there's a mass extinction. Mr. Darwin? So even if there is a mass extinction in a few minutes, you know, Imagine the amazing diversity that would emerge afterwards, brought about by this beautiful mechanism of evolution. It's really just simple competitive exclusion in a mass extinction event. Many niches will become available again, and a lot of competition is eliminated. Now, species that survive can inhabit these unused niches, and those with competitive advantages exclude other species without these advantages. In time, adaptive radiation and drift will cause speciation, and new species of incredible diversity would emerge, leading to organisms we cannot even imagine yet. The extinction of these species we have now would open up a world of possibilities for new life to emerge, you know. Maybe it's time for us to make space and allow the Earth to have a fresh start? If only we knew we would come to this. Maybe we would have treated each other more nicely, especially the scientists. 
Well, it turns out that our longings, dreams and aspirations as a species were nothing but an illusion devoid of any meaning and purpose, inevitably descending into an abyss. Well, so long and thanks for all the fish.